Baker Company, listen up. This is the big one. Operation Overlord. The air and seaborne invasion of Normandy. On H-hour D-Day, seaborne infantry will attack five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword here on the coast of Normandy. Utah and Omaha beaches will be attacked by three of our infantry divisions. At the same time, two British and one Canadian division will hit Gold, Juno, and Sword beaches. The Airborne will be landing six hours before H-hour, before the air and naval bombardments. The British 6th Airborne Division will be landing here. At the same time, the 101st and the 82nd Airborne will be landing in these areas. The Dews River Estuary here divides Utah and Omaha Beach. The mission of the 101st is to capture the Dews River crossings linking Utah and Omaha Beach and to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. This road here is the main highway that connects the entire Cotentin Peninsula. The Germans have troop concentrations in this region. When those troops are mobilized into a counterattack on the beaches, they'll have to move along this road. The 101st is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Baker Company, that's us, has been assigned this causeway here. The Pathfinders, like Private Martin, will be dropped ahead of the main force and will plant beacons on the ground to mark the landing zones. However, there is no telling what will happen once we're on the ground. So I want all of you to learn the objectives of every unit in both the 101st and 82nd. I also want you to study these maps and photographs until you've memorized them. We will be landing behind the Atlantic Wall, between several German garrisons. We can't expect to be relieved until at least several hours after H-hour. This is what we've been training for. Good luck. June 5th, 1944. 1800 hours. Green M. Common, England. In about three hours, I will be in Normandy. As one of the Pathfinders for my unit, I'll be landing ahead of the main airborne force. The Pathfinders land before the main force and place beacons on the landing fields to guide the rest of the pilots and paratroopers in. The brass are sending the airborne in first, in the early hours of the morning, to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. At first light, the main force of the invasion will hit the beaches. For weeks, the entire invasion force, more than 175,000 men, has been cooped up and forbidden contact with anyone outside, with nothing to do but memorize maps and battle plans. We're all quite eager to be in France. A few hours ago, General Eisenhower paid us a visit. If we pull all this off, the Germans are in for one hell of a surprise. Ich mach dich fest. <lacht> Schon seit Wochen bombardieren. Na und? Sie bombardieren doch alles. 
was sollte dies hier schon besonders interessieren? Kommando und Bunker 6. Geben Sie Fliegeralarm. Der Feind kriegt uns an Küche. Ist da jemand? Hallo? Ende. D-Day. Zero, zero, 20 hours. Nobody seems to have dropped where they were supposed to. I haven't seen anyone from my unit yet, but luckily I've hooked up with some of the guys from Baker Company. We also have men from Abel, Dog, and Fox Companies with us. What a mess. 
We're getting ready to capture the village of St. Marie and Glees, about five miles from Utah Beach. We're approaching through a narrow field with minefields on each side. Captain Foley says there's two platoons of German paratroopers in that village. I'd say we've got a serious fight ahead of us. The roads of St. Marie and Glees connect Utah Beach to the main highway of the peninsula, which should put us right in the path of the most likely German counterattack. All right, guys, get set to move. On my command. Let's go, let's go. Move it out.
All right, fellas. Take five, but listen up. We'll hold this place till reinforced, but this is just one tiny village in a war and country full of them. So our work has just begun. For those of you who've seen your first action, welcome to the big time. For those of you who've seen it before, trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. We'll redeploy those German machine guns setting up a defensive perimeter. Keep your guard up and your buddies in mind. Good work.